in this lecture we are going to study installation of electric appliances their repairing and maintenance after going through this course you will become capable of installing different domestic appliances at your home with the help of simple tools and instruments let's begin with switchboard repairing what is switchboard a switchboard is a large single panel frame or assembly of panel where switches over current and other protective devices buses and instruments are mounted on the face or back of the board this electric switchboard directly directs the current or electricity from one or more sources of supply to several smaller region inside the switchboard there can be one or more bus bar these are flat strip of copper or aluminium to which the switch gear is connected Bus bars carry large current through the switchboard and are supported by insulators. The operator is protected from the electrocution by safety switches and fuses. Industrial switchboards are metal enclosed and of dead front construction. There is no energized part are accessible when the covers and panels are closed. Large switchboard may be freestanding floor mounted enclosure. with provision for incoming connection at either top or bottom of the enclosure a switchboard may have incoming bus bar or bus conduct for the source connection and also for large circuit fed from the board now let's learn how to repair a switchboard there are many symptoms of faulty switch such as light flicker or shines dimly This may be a reason of loose connection on the switch or inside it. Firstly, turn off the breaker. Now unscrew the cover plate with the screwdriver. Now closely look at the fault if some loose connection or short circuit happen inside the switchboard. After this, test the terminal with a voltage tester. For this, do touch one lead of the tester to the green ground screw and the other one to the brass terminal disconnect both black wire from the switch if they don't appear to be loose use pliers to twist them together and screw it on the wire connector to ensure safety trip switches and fuses are essential to protect device that cut off the flow of electricity in your home by turning off your mcb if any fault occur in the circuit board means miniature circuit board and fuses protect the individual circuit that carry electricity to the various ap application in your home or offices the electrical appliances and devices are lights sockets immersion heaters and cookers how to work on switchboard while installing a switchboard We need to follow some criteria in which firstly location is to determine that at which place in house you most require these new socket and switches places in house where the demand of electricity is high are to find such as kitchen or a living room and then look for the safe location you should also carry out an inspection on all your existing socket and look at the circuit board if are cracked or defective as they need immediate repair extremely old socket that don't include a switch should also be replaced let us look at installing procedure of a tube light before installing tube light at your home and offices it is important to understand the different part and its function towards operation as whole You can refer this wiring diagram which is used while installing a tube light. Now let us look at tube light fixture procedures. Tube light consists of large heavy square called as choke, ballast or a starter. The choke is in fact the large inductor. It consists of long copper winding over iron laminations. An inductor by nature always has a tendency to throw back the stored current in it every time the power through it is switched off. This principle of choke is exploited in lighting a fluorescent tube light. 
when we apply ac voltage it passes through the choke the starter and filament inside the tube a fluorescent lamp basically consists of long glass gas discharge tube its inner surface is coated with phosphorus and it is filled with an inert gas the inert gas is argon with a trace of mercury the tube light is then finally sealed at low pressure with the two filament electrodes each at its both ends these electrode filaments are used to preheat the tube and initiate a rapid conduction of electrons between the two end of electrodes the process initially requires a relatively high amount of power the conversion of mercury ion from a liquid state to gaseous state where the collision of mercury atom and the amount of energy increases tube light coated with phosphorus to make light visible After understanding concept related to tube light now let's understand the electric fan installation Ceiling fan is a single phase induction motor This motor is not self starting motor thus it gives a capacitor to generate the phase difference and thus the capacitor start and run ac motor for ceiling fans To understand motor principle first we'll look for the main parts of motor and connection inside a fan motor is consist of two main parts such as rotor and stator motor principle is based on the fact that whenever current carrying conductor is placed in magnetic field it experience a force this force is exerted on conductor When single phase voltage is applied to stator then current will produce in the stator winding and result in producing magnetic field To run AC induction motor of fan it needs a rotating magnetic field in order to turn the motor shaft For this purpose apply voltage of different phases to different winding inside a fan stator This capacitor is used to find a phase shift it is, it makes it appears the motor is operating in a multi phase system in simple term a single phase is to split into two there are also other method to split phase but using a capacitor is less expensive now we have magnetic field we need current carrying conductor that is voltage will develop in rotor as it is a closed circuit thus current will produce when when placed in magnetic field as a result of which rotor will rotate and fan starts working how to grease ceiling fan for greasing a fan in homes and office firstly turn off the fan and wait till the fan stops completely use ladder to reach to ceiling where fan is located and climb it to see the fan's motor bearings are located on the upper section of fan's motor this is the place where you need to put grease for this insert one or two drop of motor oil into the hole and on the bearing follow manufacturer recommendation if said to use different oil or a different amount of oil or grease after this remove excess oil from the exterior of fan with a rag or a cloth to test the result turn on the fan you may notice fan is now working smoothly without giving any noise What is adapter? An adapter is a device that converts attributes of one device or system to those of an otherwise incompatible device or system. The term is often used to refer as AC adapter. They are devices that allow electricity operated equipment to be connected to the primary alternating current power supply in a building. What is an exhaust fan? Exhaust fan is an electric fan which is used to install inside a room which can exhaust smelly air or allow fresh air to enter that room. It can exhaust humid air allowing dry air to enter the bathroom or a kitchen area. When exhaust fan is operated for 24 hours per day it can act as the most important component of the whole house ventilation system. 
There are some criteria while choosing an exhaust fan for your home and offices. Always look for an exhaust fan which is silent and does not make noise too much. There are some concerned qualities that you must look at. That the exhaust fan is chosen according to the size of room or hall at which place to locate it. Thus it should be of proper size. Another thing is that it should neither too wimpy nor too powerful. Always look for energy efficient exhaust fan which can cut off your electricity bill. Exhaust fan is used during working hours and can work for long thus its efficiency must be evaluated. After looking at the selection qualities now let us learn procedure to installing exhaust fan. Firstly verify that door has enough of an undercut to allow air to enter the room or hall kitchen or washroom where the fan is running it is to remember to seal the crack between the fan housing and the ceiling drywall verify that the back draft damper in the fan operates smoothly now plan ahead and make sure the duct of exhaust fan should be short as possible install the fan so that duct outlet is aimed in the right direction and it is towards the planned exterior terminations in many cases it is good idea to install duct with a larger diameter than the duct outlet of the fan if the duct is longer than usual use 6 inch duct instead of 4 inch duct now use galvanized duct or thin wall pvc pipe joints in galvanized duct should be secured with steel metal screws and sealed with hvac tape in order to reduce noise transmission and simple installation, many ins installers use a short length of flex duct between the fan and the rigid duct work. There can be support duct which are installed at every 3 feet with hangers or strapping for preventing sagging. If any lower is there then verify it on the wall termination or roof termination. Moving on further. Let's look at how to repair a faulty or damaged plug. Before beginning, let us understand the meaning of electric plug. Electric plug is a device for making an electrical connection between an appliance and the mains, which consisting of an insulated casing with metal pins then fit into the holes in a socket. It has been observed that most accidents with electricity in the home are caused by faulty or incorrectly wired plugs. The correct wire wiring of a plug is extremely important for your own safety. Now how to repair and prepare a plug? You can purchase a new plug from your nearby electric shop in the market. Firstly look at the plug and locate the screws on it. Now remove the cover and loosen the screws of the cord grip and also loosen or remove the screws from the brass terminal. After preparing the plug now look at flex. How to prepare the flex? Measure the flex against the plug and strip the outer covering back as far as the cord grip and take care not to cut through the colored insulation on the wire strands. If the colored cable have to be trimmed Ensure that they are long enough to reach the terminal without straining. Then allow for a little sack on the green or yellow earth wire. You can refer this diagram of a plug which makes you aware of fixing the flex to it. Before fixing the flex to plug you should remember the color code of cable or flex such as brown color wire is to live terminal, blue to the neutral and green yellow to the earth terminal. There are some procedure to fix the flex as pass the flex under the loosened cord grip and push into the clamp. Now twist the exposed wire strand of each core between the finger and thumb. If the plug has clamp terminal wrap each core around the appropriate terminal and place the washer on top of the twist wire and tighten the screws nut firmly. If the plug has pillar terminal, then double the twisted bare 
wire back on the itself of about 5 mm and insert it fully into the hole in the appropriate terminal now tighten the terminal screw firmly on the wire tighten the cord grip screw making sure that cord grip is clamped on the full outer covering of the cable and not on the inner course how to repair power point or socket socket is an electrical device which receives a plug or light bulb to make a connection repairing of socket means to replace the socket with new one as it is better to replace the faulty or damaged socket for this firstly switch off the power supply to make safety while working with live wires make the right connection to the live wire and check the wiring to the wall socket after this replace the surface single with the surface double or triple depending upon the availability in the next step disconnecting the old socket using electrical tools and also remove the mounting box now fix the new mounting box and provide earthing to the new socket connecting the new socket in place and securing the new socket with the screws this is for today see you in the next session